Hey everyone, Tio here. In this video, I want to talk about the Sans Lab Pen Display 24, which was announced a few days ago. The retail price is 1,899 US dollars, and that product is now available for pre-order, with a waiting time of 30 to 60 days. All right, this video is not a review. This video is just me talking about the product information and the photos that I see on their website. It is going to be quite unlikely for the company to send me that product to review because it's quite expensive and it's even more unlikely to spend my own money to buy that product to make a review. Now, if you are interested to buy the pen display, consider using the affiliate links that I have for you in the video description below to help support my channel and the work that I do here. All right, let's take a look at the product and specs. So this is the pen display. This is a monitor that you can draw on. This is not a tablet. This is not a computer. So this is a monitor, which means you have to connect this to a computer in order to use it. And shown in this short video is a SenseLab Quick Keys keyboard remote attached to the side. This is removable. And on the other side is the pen with its pen holder, which is also removable there are two pens included. You can attach another pen right at the top of the pen display. Let's look at some of the features here. Exceptional glare reduction, natural drawing experience. So this means the drawing surface is going to be matte textured. And many of these are actually just marketing. There are two pens included, the three button pen and the thin pen. These two pens actually came with the Sense Lab Pen Tablet Medium. So these two pens are not new. And I have reviewed their pen tablets before and they work really well. So the color support is up to 93% DCI-P3 and 99% Adobe RGB, which is to say that this pen display and the color accuracy is good for print designers, as well as those who are retouching or editing photos and video. The display is pen tone and pen tone skin tone validated. The quick keys remote uh, is included. Edge to edge drawing surface. Um, not exactly sure what that means. The tilt stand is included. And this display has a 10 by 10 centimeters VESA mount. And the drivers that are supported are for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux, which is nice. They support three OS. From the video I have watched on SenseLab YouTube channel, the company said they worked with more than 100 artists to create this product. So this Super AG etching is one of the selling features. It basically means the drawing surface is matte textured glass. And with matte textured glass, sometimes there is the addition of grain or color noise or that sparkling effect. But we won't know how much there is because there are no reviews online yet. There are some unboxing videos, but those are just marketing videos that don't really talk much about the actual performance of the product. So this is the 3G initial activation. Uh, I have reviewed their pens before and the pens are accurate and sensitive and has very low initial activation force. So I don't expect anything uh, less from SenseLab in terms of accuracy for the pen and drawing performance. And here there is more marketing for the matte textured surface, which is said to have exceptional glare reduction. The display is optically bonded, which is another way to say the display is laminated. So when you're drawing the pen tip, sorry, when you're drawing, there shouldn't be any gap between the pen tip and the line beneath and the display is supposed to have some anti-fingerprint coating to reduce fingerprints. The number of colors displayable is 1 billion colors. There is no info regarding whether this display is 10-bit or 8-bit with FRC. Now this is an IPS LCD and it's not a touch screen. There is no mention of the contrast ratio as well, but I expect the contrast to be at least 1 to 1 million. And this is an LCD, so 
This is not an OLED display. So here you can see the removable sense lab quick keys attached to the side. This is actually placed in a holder which is attached to the side. So you have to use the holder in order to put the quick keys on the side. And notice the bezels are quite thick. Um, this is so that you can rest your hand comfortably by the side when you're drawing. So these are some product photos. Um, this stand that you see here, um, this is the included stand. And this stand in the foreground with the four legs, this is an optional purchase. I'm not sure how much that is. Let's see if we can get more photos on that stand. There are three programmable device control buttons at the top. I'm not sure what they do, so I don't I can't say anything about that. Okay, so this is the stand that is included. The pivot point is below the base of the display. There will be two rubber feet included that you can attach to the base of the display that allows you to pivot the display when you use the stand. And you can use this latch here to adjust the angle. This display is 6 kg and together with the stand, I believe it's 6.9 kg if I remember correctly. Anyway, this stand is removable and this display is VESA multiple. The VESA dimensions are or is 10 by 10 centimeters. No adapter is required, which is nice. So if you buy the optional multi-angle stand, uh, you can attach it very easily as well. You can also use your own Ergotron arm mount if you want to. Okay, so this is how the stand works. You just pull up the latch and you can adjust the angle very easily which is nice. I like I like how this stand works because I have another stand that works exactly like this. And that stand allows you to adjust the display with just one hand uh, unless the weight is too heavy for just one hand. So these are the two pens included, the thin and the thick. I don't have much things to say about the pen except they work well based on the reviews that I based on the review that I've made two years ago. So this is the Sense Lab Quick Keys keyboard remote with eight buttons and there is a button in the middle of the dial here which allows you to switch between the different sets of shortcuts. So in theory you can actually get up to 40 shortcuts like 5 times 8 and the downside is it's going to be quite difficult to remember all those 40 shortcuts but you can have up to 40 shortcuts which is nice the driver that i have tested for their pen tablet works really well i don't remember experiencing any glitches and the driver actually looks pretty slick okay this feature looks pretty cool so you can see the pen moving across this uh, multi display interface on the pen display so it seems like you can actually use the pen to control the cursor across different displays now usually with the switch display functionality the cursor will jump from one display to the other with you uh, when you press a button in this case you can actually move the cursor across all these displays without having to press any shortcut button. Now this feature is actually also available with some other pen displays from some other companies. And here is called the virtual tablet mode. This pen display does not use fans um, and it's said to have good heat dissipation. Anyway, the pen display should not produce much heat because it's just a typical 24 inch monitor. And these are all the items included with the purchase. You get the quick keys, the pen case for the two pens with six replacement plastic nibs and four felt nibs. That's the quick keys holder attachment. These are the USB cables, USB-C to USB-A. Um, there are many cables. 
Oh, the video input for the pen display is DisplayPort, HDMI, and USB-C. And these are the specifications. The product comes with two years warranty. I want to show you this photo that I saw earlier. Yeah. So this is the multi-angle stand that has four legs. I'm not sure how this stand is holding the display when two of the legs are not even on the table. Is this like floating? Anyway, notice the pen display is in portrait orientation. So this stand allows you to turn the display from landscape to portrait orientation easily. The included stand does not allow you to do that. So if you want to turn the display vertically, then you have to spend extra to buy this stand. And they are not, uh, they did not list how much this stand is. So this is the write-up that I have on my blog comparing the Sense Lab Pen Display 24 with the XP Pen Artist 24 Pro and the Canvas Pro 24 4K and the Wacom Cintiq Pro 24. So these are all 24-inch pen displays and the XP Pen is the only one with 1440p resolution. The rest have 4K UHD resolution. I have a little typo here. So all this display use IPS LCD. The brightness for all these displays are about 200 and above to 300. These are not HDR capable because in real life, the actual brightness is going to be around 20% less. So I'm expecting around 250 nits for the Sense Lab pen display. Now the Wacom Cintiq Pro comes with several variations. There is the touch enabled Cintiq which is $500 more and there is the normal Cintiq um, here which is $2,199. So that's $300 more compared to the Sense Lab pen display. The Huion Canvas Pro 24 is $1,300. So that's significantly less. The contrast ratio is about 1 to 1,000. All these displays have good color accuracy, good color depth. They are all laminated. They all have matte textured drawing surface. Uh, the response time is not listed for the Sense Lab. Hopefully, it's at least 40 milliseconds or better. If the response time is higher, it means you can actually see ghosting when you are moving your artworks around on the screen. You may see ghosting when you pan your art or your canvas. There are no hotkeys, so the hotkeys are provided by the accessories. In this case, the Sense Lab Quick Keys. For the Wacom, I believe if I remember correctly, there are some hotkeys, but you can also get hotkeys from the Wacom Quick Express. No, Wacom Express keys. That's also a shortcut remote. And the connections for all these displays are the same. HDMI, USB-C, display port. The weight for all these displays are around 6 to 7 kg. They are all VESA mountable, except for the Wacom Cintiq Pro 24, which needs a VESA adapter. And these are the, some of the accessories for the keyboard shortcut, remote. The XV Pen comes with only one year warranty, whereas for the Sense Lab, Wacom, and Huion, they have two years warranty. And here's the pricing Sense Lab at US $1,900 versus XP Pen, which is $1,000 lower, versus Huion, which is $1,000. $300 versus the Wacom Cintiq Pro 24, which is $2,200. So obviously the Wacom is more expensive, followed by the Sense Lab, followed by the Huion tablet. Now in terms of value for money, personally I would probably go with the Canvas Pro 24 because it is significantly cheaper relatively speaking, compared to the Sense Lab. And the Huion pen display has really good drawing performance as well. So 
I'm not sure where the value is for the Sense Lab pen display. And note that for the Wacom Cintiq Pro, uh, with certain models, you can get refresh rate up to 120 hertz. But for the Sense Lab pen display, it's just 60 hertz refresh rate, which is the typical refresh rate with IPS LCD displays. So that's the Sense Lab pen display 24. If you order the product today, the shipping time is around 30 to 60 days, which is a very long wait. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this product. Is this something you would consider getting for yourself or would you rather go with the Huion which is more affordable or the Wacom? And let me know the reasons why. And if you guys are interested to get this product, do consider using the affiliate link that I have for you to help me out and support my YouTube channel and the work that I do here. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys again. Bye.